So gents, you've seen this tire. This is um, this is the tire on my polo, and I've got a leak on it, uh, fairly serious, so that I I need to pump it every second day, and then the second day it's already uh, deflated to about 1.5 uh, bar. So what I'm gonna do is it needs replacement. You see, so I'm not gonna let it professionally uh, repair so I'm gonna for a week only next week I will put some new tires on so for now I'm gonna put this shield tire jack in and um, see if it hold on for a couple uh, just a couple of days maximum a week or maximum two weeks okay I'm gonna check the the pressure quickly Okay, I've got this old school type, so let me check the, the pressure. Okay, it's currently uh, 30 pounds, so it's one bar, about 1.8 bar, so I need it at least 2.8. 2.5 2.6 bar so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna de deflate it a little bit for for this to make uh, take up the space and then we will check if we can see where the leak is so I'm gonna deflate it a little bit now let's check it quickly <coughs> Okay, now it's one bar. Let's deflate it a little bit more. You can basically be totally flat, as far as I'm concerned. Let's check it. Okay, now it is basically flat. Okay, so let me put that stuff in. I'm gonna shake it first. Okay, I've decided to <coughs> deflate it fully that the meter don't don't show any pressure. There's a little bit of pressure inside, but it doesn't uh, even show here. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a full bottle of this in. Is. Okay. Okay, let's inflate it. Okay. So we're gonna turn the wheel around, spin it. I'm going to look in the inside okay it looks it seems if in the inside of the tire yeah, at where the, the rim and the tire meet, there's two places where there's a little bit of from this stuff that uh, go outside, spin outside. Okay, I'm gonna spin it a little bit for a while. I think that's the right thing to do. Okay. Um, I've checked the pressure now, it's just over a bar, 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it for an hour or two or three and then check it again and then I will uh, inflate the tire with, with the hydraulic or with the pressure air. I can't see any leaks on the on this area, running area. Okay, I'm inflating it now. I want it about 2.6, and then uh, I'll keep you guys updated how that fire jet works. Okay, gents, last time before I put the pump on, it was at that position. Um, for the video purposes, one and a half. So let's zero it and check it quickly. It's just over two on the inside ring, say 2.2. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it here. We can check, there's no leak on the valve. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there and um, I'll give you guys feedback on the next video. Um, what what the story is about this tire and tire jet. Thank you.